WeatherTrack Controller Activation. Activation day is a big day in a WeatherTrack's life because on activation day, there's a number of tasks that need to be completed before WeatherTrack considers that controller fully activated. One of the most important parts of the controller activation is the setup of the cellular communication. So on activation day, your HydroPoint customer service representative will turn on the AT&T SIM card inside that controller. And that's when it connects to the HydroPoint server and you'll see that controller come online. But before you'll see that controller in your WeatherTrack.net account, a HydroPoint customer service agent has to build that account and or site on the WeatherTrack.net servers. So we go into WeatherTrack Central and set up all of the account information and all of the site information, and then we assign the controller to that site. So there is some back-end administrative work that has to happen before a WeatherTrack controller can be seen online. And because the activation will bring that controller online, it can then be seen and managed from both WeatherTrack.net and WeatherTrack Mobile. So it's important at activation to make sure that everyone who needs access to that controller has access to that controller, which means making sure that anyone who we want to manage the system not only has a WeatherTrack user account set up and they know their WeatherTrack username and password, but also that they've been granted access to see and to manage this controller inside that account and that they know how to access their WeatherTrack account both from WeatherTrack Central or WeatherTrack.net and they've downloaded WeatherTrack Mobile onto any smart devices. Another thing that happens on activation day is we assign your controller a WeatherTrack microzone. That microzone represents the square kilometer that that controller sits in, so we're sure that the WeatherTrack Climate Center can send your controller the proper weather information. Not to mention that at activation, the controller is connected to WeatherTrack Central and you have access to all of the cloud-based features available at WeatherTrack.net. And the cloud connectivity gives us great power for things like manual irrigation and advanced programming and access to all of the different programming information, as well as industry-leading reporting tools. Just great WeatherTrack reports and the site maps and great alert visibility provided by the advanced alert management tools all begin for this controller on the date of activation. With so much riding on the activation, I know you're thinking, how do I activate my WeatherTrack controller? And you actually have a few options for WeatherTrack activation. If you want to activate your controller before you go, you can use the online pre-activation tools. Or if you're on site, you can call our customer service team to help you activate that controller. To pre-activate your controller, go to the WeatherTrack website at hydropoint.com backslash WeatherTrack. And once you're there, go to the resources tab. And if you select the drop down from resources, you'll see the second option is called controller activation. And when you select controller activation, it takes you to our online activation resources where you can likely find this video and the link to the form that you need to fill out to activate your controllers. So you click on that link and it takes you to the controller activation request form where you'll fill out the site information and then your contact information as well as some information about the installer of the controller and their title and contact information. We also ask the billing information. It's important that we set up the account where the WeatherTrack subscription will go in the future. So we collect the billing name and address and contact name and contact information there and we fill out the controller information. Remember that all of the controller information that you need is printed on stickers on the outside of the WeatherTrack box. So you don't have to take the controller out of the box for pre-activation. You can go through here and put in your controller serial number and then the address of the controller installation. Then customer service will pre-activate that controller. We also have the ability to add multiple controllers if you're doing a bunch on the same site. And lastly, but maybe most importantly, we select which users should be associated to this controller. Then we ask for the name and contact information of each of the users that you want to have access to the controller, as well as the level of access that you want them to have. And there's different levels of access that you can select. So once this has all been filled out, we submit this online form. And once you submit that, within one business day, customer service will have your activation complete. Another great way to pre-activate your controller is to email support at hydropoint.com with all of the necessary information and they can pre-activate your controller that way. 
Again, you should allow one business day to allow for activation via email, but if you are on site and need expedited service, you can let us know in the subject line and that email will be given special priority. Be aware that incomplete information in the activation request will delay the activation process. So make sure you include the account and site name, the controller serial number, any billing information, as well as anybody who needs access to those controllers. So if you use the online pre-activation, when you go to do your installation, as soon as you power up the controller, the activation will have already happened and the controller will come online almost immediately. Or if you're already on site, you can call the HydroPoint customer service team to help you with the activation. But if you're in the field standing at the controller or you need activation done in real time, the best way to do that is contact the customer support team at 1-800-362-8774. There you'll find a team of Spanish English bilingual customer support agents ready to activate your controllers Monday through Saturday. And this is by far the most common way to activate controllers because the customer support agent can get that controller online in real time with you watching it on the other side. If you are calling to activate from the field, remember that the contact information for customer support is printed right on the front panel. And if you have a Pro 3 or an XR, the serial number will be printed on a sticker on the front of the panel. And if you have an LC, the serial number is usually placed on the back of the panel, so you'll have to open the panel door to find the serial number sticker. Again, you'll need the account or site information, the controller serial number, the billing information, and the contact information for anyone you want assigned to the controller. And once that controller comes online, the weather track will still need time to complete the activation. So for those first few minutes, you'll see this message that tells you that the controller is synchronizing with the server and will be available momentarily. While this is happening, we won't be managing anything from the controller, and usually you'll only see this message the first time the controller is syncing for about 10 or 15 minutes until everything is appropriately set up. Once the first time controller setup is complete, then your weather track controller activation should be complete and you should be able to begin your WeatherTrack programming regardless of whether you're doing it from the controller, from WeatherTrack Central, or from WeatherTrack Mobile.